Hello, beautiful people. It is Christine Austin Hill coming to you today. It is the beginning of the month and it is time to get our schedules together. All right. So I had taken a whole month off and it was wonderful. I worked every day. I just didn't work my insurance business, um, except for whenever people called. Of course, I serviced my clients, but I did not solicit or write a lot of new business last month. And the reason is because I was able to bless my mom and basically threw out everything that she owned and um, just rehabbed her house. I just redid her house. And it was just a truly blessing, a true labor of love because I did a lot of the work myself and not because I couldn't pay somebody to do it, but the prices that I was receiving was a little bit high and everybody was saying because, you know, COVID and, um, you know, they're trying to catch up. And I'm like, you're not going to catch up out of my bank account. And I just knew that a lot of the things I could do myself. So I decided it would be better for me to do it with a couple people that I know. And we got it done. We got it done. Amazing. And I actually was there with my mom every single day. And how awesome was that? Like, we really had a great time all month. The kids came and helped out. My husband was able to help out a few uh, days out of that month. And it was just an amazing opportunity to be able to do that while she's still here, right? But we are here today because we need to get our schedules and we need to get our tracking documents in order, all right? Now... It doesn't make any sense at all for you to have any calendars, spreadsheets, 20 point sheets or anything if you're not going to go to work. All right. So this video is just for the people that are going to go to work, that have a serious goal and just know that they need to have some structure. I am that person that needs structure. A couple months ago when I did my 20,000 um, in, what was it, two and a half weeks? I tracked everything. So I like to do the little games. This is the 100 um, presentation tracking sheet. And so every presentation that I did, I wrote down, you know, an X if they were not interested. I put B if they were broke, if they didn't have any money. And I put the dollar sign with the dollar amount if I sold the policy. And that allowed me, and I put NI if they were not interested, right? Yeah, so I did NI and an X. So I did both. But it is what it is. I kept track. I did 70 presentations in the month of August. Um, and again, I ended up with that 20,000 plus for in production. If you notice for the month, it is booked, right? This was a month that I kept track of every single day. I had my 20 point sheet filled out every day of the week and how many points I had. And then right up underneath there is the sheet that I had. You know, all these sheets are um, I created except for the 20 point, although I adjusted that a little bit. But um, this allows me as an insurance agent to keep track of my lead balances, my chargebacks, my DNP, how many appointments, how many leads that I purchased. Like I like to have everything right in front of me. That is how I am. That's how I, I operate on a high level. And so that is why I created this. And again, when I have everything in front of me, my weekly schedule all together, I do well, period. When I'm keeping track of everything. So if I went through like all of these, like you'd be able to see appointments, I have no snowball days. And what that means is if there was a blank day, like the 30th, that's a Sunday. But even though I did work on some Sundays here, the blank days means I didn't do anything. I didn't have any, any appointments. I think that's a fruit fly. Anyway, um, no, it's a piece of hair. <laughs> Anywho, keep track of your stuff. And I also, I'm going to put my hand over the names. I also keep track of my clients, right? So I love to keep track of the day that I, um, I wrote the policy, their start date, their due date, how much was their premium for. I do keep track of it if it was a lead from my NTL lapse report, if it was a referral, um, if they're modified or final expense, and then the production, because of course I'm keeping track of the production. So as I go through, I had started out 
um, with the production goal and I just subtracted going down through the list all the way until I got to the end, right? Now, this was so fun. It was so fun. I was not crazy. I had a whole bunch. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. I had fourteen apps that actually crossed over into September. So I did a, I did more than twenty thousand in production, but only twenty thousand counted for August. So that's all that really matters, right? Well, depends on who's listening, who wants to know. Hmm. But anywho, I printed out my stuff for this month. I grabbed this little binder from Walmart. You know. I don't know, $5 or so. I printed out my pages from my workbook. And again, you can find that from my website, ChristinaAustinIll.com. Under workbooks, there's a ton of them there. And you can print it right out or you can get the hard copies, right? But I printed mine out and I went ahead and I filled in everything that I have to do for this month. So you want to get your kids' schedules, you want to get your husband's schedule, your wife's schedule, your significant other schedule, whatever you need their information because you have other things to do. You want to put that down first, right? Get your family stuff down. Don't make somebody mad at you because you put that you were going to be working all these days and you forgot that there's a recital or something going on. Put it down. Your family is important. Put it down. So I have everything that I need down on here. Um, and then I have the different events that are going on this month. It's my birthday month. So my husband's taking me out of town for a Billy Osbrook. On my birthday, November 29th. So I will be in Philly at that event. And it's from 1 to 5 p.m. And that is going to be amazing. I am excited. Yes, we will have our masks on and all that good stuff. But I am glad to go. And then, you know, the dentist appointments. All my stuff. All my meetings. Things like that. Things that are, um, I wrote on here, things that would be doing the income producing activity hours. So no, I did not put in here my 5 a.m. getting up and working out. I did not put the 6 a.m. making breakfast and getting things together, my 7 a.m. conference calls. I did not put that on here because this is, I know those things. This is for what I need to make sure that I'm blocking the time out when I could be working, all right, and my team meeting. So that is in here. And then I am going to push, I printed out another 100 presentation sheet, but notice what it has. It has 200. So I need to really be pushing to do five presentations a day, five or six or seven for real, right? I need big numbers, big numbers for big goals. And then I print it out and I did, I print it for the whole month. I don't wanna be sitting around every week printing out my sheets. I print them out for the month. I went through basically what was from my monthly. I went in, here's my 20 point sheet so I can keep track of my activity making sure that I hit my numbers. And then again, my production, my lead balance, my chargeback balance, my DNP, how many leads did I purchase? I just bought today 57 leads. Yes, I did. And um, they're printed. I'm about to send out my letters uh, just to introduce myself to them and let them know that I will be calling them in the next couple days. And then I have my... It's just the weeks um, in bigger blocks so that as I'm starting to make my phone calls and I'm writing business or I have to set appointments, I have this sitting in front of me, okay? So this week is pretty clear except for Tuesday. I did not put it in here yet and I'll do that right now because I do know that Tuesday is my baby's dentist appointment and that is at 11 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down for Tuesday, 11. So I'm gonna put from 10 a.m. because it's an hour away. So from 10 to 1 p.m., I will be booked because of the dentist. I have to account for anything that may come up while um, she's there, all right? And it's about an hour away that we drive. So the dentist, so from 10 to 1 p.m., I am out of commission. I will be dealing with my, my daughter and taking care of family business, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have your schedule set. You wanna make sure that you have your times blocked out, that you are not available. Do not cause stress on yourself. Try to do everything at the same time. Trust me, it doesn't work. Get yourself in order. 
get your calendar, print out your sheets, create your own sheets. Don't take a million hours creating a sheet if you're not familiar with doing that. Just go to my website. You can get the sheets. Um, you can go to Google and you can Google 2020 November calendar and screenshot and print it out, y'all. You can do whatever you want, but get yourself together, okay? And then again, I do have my client tracking sheet. I love to keep track of my clients because anytime that I, you know, write a client and say it's two, three days later and they call me, I can just pull right on my sheet and see exactly what I did with them as far as their production or um, premium, things like that, start dates. And it just helps me out with that. All right. But that sheet also helps me for later. I can go back and call them just to do a follow up because a lot of the work I'm doing is over the phone. So I'm not in front of them. I'm not getting all warm and fuzzy. I'm loving on them over the phone. So I definitely want to make sure that I am letting them know that this was not just a one-time call. I am here to help them. All right. So it's a little bit more work, but it's worth it. Okay. It is worth it. And yeah, I did print out a little extra for my workbook, the 2020 Perfect Vision uh, Financial Growth Sheet, because I have spent a lot of money, you guys, in the last two months between my mother's project and my husband and his um, working out, man, he is a researcher. So we have some things coming in to help us to just be stronger, to live longer, prayerfully, and um, just a better quality of life. And that has to do with working out. So we have some things coming in and it is a blessing. It is a blessing um, that in this business, you can truly be able to do so much, right? Now, I have been here nine years in November. I've been here nine years. I put in a lot of time. You are not going to get there overnight. You have to put in the work. Sorry. And the struggle is real. Mentally in the beginning, the struggle is real. So take my advice. Get yourself a planner. Get yourself organized as far as when you are going to go to work. And then just go to work. Door knock. Be happy. Appreciate your opportunity. But always understand that when you knock on opportunity's door, work is going to answer. You have to put in the work. And with that, guys, I'm out. Have a wonderful day. And I will be back quite often this month because we are going to be busy doing insurance business. I'll see you in the next video.